All right, welcome back to Beyond Motion. I'm Rick. Uh, next is hand cleans, and we're going to keep it simple. We're not going to go mid chin. We're not going to go from the floor power cleans. We're going to go hand cleans where everyone should start. All right. And a hand clean, we emphasize this. So I want to see explosiveness from the athlete. We do it for two reasons. One, I want to see propulsion, which means pop, right? And two, I want to see how the athlete absorbs the bar when it comes down on them. I don't want them to be crushed by the bar. So I don't want to see a hand clean that just falls down to a front squat. I want to see them that actually support that bar coming on them and be able to stabilize it. So Coach Whips here is going to show you a really good one. As you see him approach the bar, he's going to go a shoulder width grip. You can hook grip it if you know what that is, or cup the hands, one of the two, hang position, and attack the bar. So you see him do two more. He's going to drive up and attack. Nice. One more. Up. Attack. So you notice one thing. Stay right there, Coach. Let's go on. Let's go on. Up. Good. So we're up here. He's catching. He's not having to meet the bar down here. The only reason he should be meeting the bar down here is when actually it gets a heavier load and that bar is not going to get that trajectory up. Okay, so biggest misconception I see is an athlete goes down right into a front squat. That does not teach an athlete deceleration whatsoever. This teaches the athlete how to decelerate and absorb force. One of the biggest things we need in, in sports. All right, so Coach Webb, beautiful, beautiful. 